A West Dallas business has it down to a T. Literally, a new tea shop on Greenfield Avenue opened up way ahead of schedule, all thanks to a special loan program. Sean Gallagher explains how a dream became reality. The women who started this business knew they had a terrific idea, but in starting any small business, they knew there would be no simple moments in doing so. But after getting a loan from Kiva, they knew that they could have peace of mind that their business would get off the ground smoothly. Cherie and Aisha Henry started Sway Tea last fall. The idea came out of Cherie's use of tea as a homeopathic way to deal with some of her own personal ailments. After her family wanted more of her medicinal tea remedies, she and her wife decided to open up the shop to share the help. We can help everyone, but we can always help someone. But they had one problem. Small business loans are really hard to get. They found the Kiva Loan Program, which offers crowdsourced loans at 0% interest for small business startups. Sway T received a $5,500 loan from Kiva, allowing them to open up their kitchen for an expanded product selection. Banks might be lending at a very, re, you know, very good rate at 5 or 6%, depending on the business risk involved, but 0%, you can't beat that. Wendy Bauman with Wisconsin Women's Business Initiative Corporation says there are about 260 active Kiva loans in Wisconsin for about $1.65 million. Women business owners represent 70% of the loans in Wisconsin. 60% are owned by minorities. It definitely, like I said, sped up that vision because it was going really slow. We would probably still be in the gathering funds phase. But they get more than money. What kind of repeat customers are you getting? They get insight from experts like Wendy. We need assistance with marketing, so Kiva's going to help us. We utilize as much as we can being a part of we Wibic and Kiva, that has helped us a whole lot. So Sheree and Aisha can get brewing on their next healing helping of tea. In West Dallas, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News. That kitchen should be fully operational in a couple of weeks, something that never would have happened this quickly if they did not qualify for that Kiva loan.